kitchen. I'm making some muffins for my grandkids. They're gonna come uh, this weekend and I wanna make some blueberry muffins. It's one of their favorites and so um, that's what I'm gonna do, I'm doing right now. In here I have four eggs. This is a big quantity for um, blueberry muffins. I have four eggs, uh, two cubes of butter, and two cups of sugar. And I'm mixing all this, all oh, and then zest of one orange. You can substitute the orange for the lemon, whatever you prefer. So I'm just creaming all this. And uh, until it has a smooth consistency, kind of creamy. So anyway, so uh, like I said, I was just thinking, I thought, oh, I don't think I have a video of blueberry muffins. I like to have a large quantity in the freezer so that way when they come, I always have something for them, especially in the breakfast because they're very picky eaters. So, and I have here four cups of all-purpose flour. And now I'm going to put uh, four tables, four teaspoons of bacon powder. One, two, three, four. So, and then I need some salt. I need one teaspoon of salt. Uh, I'm gonna zest this orange. I'm gonna squeeze the juice from the orange. These are my in-laws. They got a bunch of oranges. Delicious oranges. So, I sometimes make with lemon, but I had some oranges, so I decided to make with oranges. We can buy blueberry muffins. I sometimes buy it at Costco, but those are so big, and they prefer the ones I make. So anyway, so now I'm gonna mix this. I need some milk. I need one cup of milk. I am doubling the recipe, so that's why this is a large quantity. Because, like I said, I make it and put it in a in a freezer, and I'll have it for a while. Um, I'm gonna alternate the flour and the milk and mix. My grandkids love things GG. They don't call me a ball, they call me GG. So they love stuff GG makes. Sometimes it says, I want stuff GG make. So I try to make stuff for them. I also have my granddaughters that are about three hours away. So I try to make stuff and when I go see them, they have them. Okay, so this is done. And now I'm going to mix it, the rest by hand helping fold the rest of that flour. You don't want to beat too much this with your mixer because then it makes a tough dough. I need blueberries. And these are things I always have on hand because I bake for people. Uh, I bake different things, gluten-free, regular stuff. And uh, so I always have stuff like this on hand. 
What I did, I left some of the flour in this bowl, and now I'm coating the blueberries. They're frozen. Could be fresh or frozen. I'm coating so they disperse um, even on the, on the batter. And so now I'm just gonna fold this. And I have my oven preheated at 350. And in no time, it doesn't take much to do this. Okay, so now I'm gonna get in my, so now I'm gonna spray. I'm gonna make some of uh, the larger ones for one of my customers. And, uh, well, and then I'll make some of the small ones for my grandkids. And that's why I needed to make a large quantity. I have a customer that needs wants some blueberry muffins. Okay. And now I need my large scoop. So now I have my large, it's a big ice cream scoop. And I fill it up and put it on, on my uh, muffin. Pans. And in no time, you have blueberry muffins. And that's why I, I always try to make a large quantity because even, even if I put it in the freezer, there's always somebody at the last minute wants something of my customers. So this way. And these have a little bit more flavor than the ones you buy in the stores. Okay. Now I fill up the ones. The small ones, I don't fill up the whole thing because it will be too much. So just halfway. Now I have raw sugar and I like to put it on top just to kind of give a little crunch and it kind of gives a little shine. And these will be so much better than the ones you would buy. You know what you put it in, they'll have so much more flavor because you can add or lemon or orange. So now I'm gonna bake these for probably about 20 minutes at 350. Okay friends, here it is my blueberry muffins. These are the big ones that I did that for my customer. And these are the ones for my grandkids. It's a perfect size for them. If you give them a big one, they're gonna waste. So that's why I like to make instead of buying. And I know what I put it, I put in, and it has more flavor than the ones you buy in the store. So I try to do, uh, always have some for my grandkids. And these are so good. The top is crunchy from the sugar. And then you have the Look at that. Look how nice that look. It's still hot. I just took out of the oven. And this with a cup of coffee in the morning. And it is so good. And this one has orange. I like the lemon too, but I like the orange. It's kind of different. But anyway, I just thought I'd share what I was doing because I, I remember I didn't think I had a video of blueberry muffins. Um, these are things that we learned when we came here and uh, I know a lot of people like want to hear, want to see uh, Portuguese cooking. But like I said, I don't always cook just Portuguese food. I cook American food, any other kind of food. So um, anyway, so I just wanted to share with you and uh, give it a try. Next time you have your grandkids or just make a batch, always have some in the freezer. When you want, just pull it out and you have a nice breakfast or even a snack. So anyway, 
give it a try and give me thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell so you get notifica notifications when I put new videos. And until next time, let's get cooking. Have a good day.